This one's called to a sleeping beauty. Well, dear daughter, I tiptoed into your room tonight. I looked down at you smiling in your sleep, and you were so lovely my heart nearly broke. And I thought how much like a sleeping beauty a little girl is. When I tuck you in at night, I never know how old you'll be when you wake. One evening, you crawl on your dad's lap and throw your arms around his neck, and the next morning, you might be much too grown up for that sort of thing. Well, you're so quickly approaching the awkward age, too young to drive the car, and yet too old to be carried in the house, half asleep on daddy's shoulder. I have a secret that I've never told you, Sleeping Beauty. You're going on a very exciting trip. You'll travel from yesterday all the way to tomorrow. It's a rapid journey and you'll travel light, leaving behind you a measles bumps, freckles bumps, bubble gum, and me. I promise not to feel too hurt when you discover that the world is more important than your daddy's life. Well, yesterday you were blue jeans and pigtails and the neighborhood's best tree climber. Tomorrow you'll be blue organdy and ponytails and you'll view the world from a loftier perch, a pair of high heel shoes. Well, yesterday you could bend a doll's broken leg with a hug. Tomorrow you'll be able to break a young man's heart with a kiss. Hmm, yesterday you could get lost one aisle away from me at the supermarket and now I have to worry about losing you down another aisle to some strange young man. You see, just at the point where your growing pain stop, mine begins. Yesterday you were kind of a pain in the neck when you were around and tomorrow you'll be an ache in my heart when you're not. Tomorrow you'll lay aside your jump rope and Tie up the telephone lines and that little boy that used to push you in the mud, well, he'll fight to sit out a dance with you. The clock is counting the minutes for you and the sky upstairs is saving its brightest stars. The sun is waiting with its shiniest day. Oh, I, I can't expect you to live in a dollhouse forever. Sooner or later, the butterfly sheds its cocoon and the smallest bird must try its wings. But when you grow up and out of my arms, when you finally get too big for my shirts, I still recall how you used to scatter dust and dolls in practically every room in the house, but you spread sunshine too. The dust is settled and your mom picked up the dolls, but the sunshine will always fill the corners of our hearts. So here I am talking in your sleep. Because, well, if you saw this look on my face, you'd laugh. And if I spoke with this lump in my throat, I'd cry. Yes, honey, when I looked at you tonight, you were a sleeping beauty. So I tiptoed over and I kissed you and you didn't wake up. I knew you wouldn't. According to the legend, only the handsome young prince can open your eyes and I'm just the father of the future bride. So you sleep on, pretty thing. Tomorrow you'll wake and you'll be a young lady and you won't even realize that you've changed courses in the middle of a dream. But you might notice a little change in me. I'll look a little different somehow. A little sadder, a little wiser, but a whole lot richer. Tonight I kissed princess and I feel like a king.